Okay, I made it back home. I'm happy to be home. It is hot up there. I, the weather may say 73.4 degrees, but it feels like it is like 82 and it's hot with the sun. Oh, excuse me. Especially when you're running around uh, going in over your car. And everywhere I went was busy. Like Dollarama was crazy. I didn't get to film much in there. And same with Walmart, it was just too too crazy. Um, and then like you know, you live in a small town when you see somebody that you used to work with that you don't want to see, so you avoid them. That's me. <laughs> a dollar ram. I saw somebody I used to work with. He was there with with him. He has two daughters. They're probably close to the same age as Henry and Casey. But I never liked him. You know, when you meet somebody and. There's just something like, you know, your gut's telling you, you know, don't trust that person. Uh, be careful what you say in front of that person, right? Um, and he was like, like that, and, you know, he would, he would think twice. But he wasn't the rat that got me in trouble when I did used to work at Walmart. You know, that was the other rat. But he was similar. Uh, he was, you know, that type of person I you couldn't trust. So I uh, saw him and I went, okay, turn around, go down the other aisle, you know. I like. I don't want to get caught in a conversation, you know, don't want to talk to somebody that, you know, I didn't get along with while I worked, you know, <laughs> like that's the past, let's leave it in the past, right? So, um, yeah, then they were busy and then I went to Walmart and then I saw the same guy again, <laughs> just the backside of him, I was like, oh my gosh, but we never made eye contact. I don't know if he did see me, recognize me, I don't care, but it's just, you know, there's just certain people that... You don't want to talk to. Oh, yeah, he's one of them. <laughs> he's on the list. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've started. I think that's the first time I've um, seen him around in town, like for quite a while. Because he, he used to work at Walmart, and then I think he went to the Limited one, and I don't think he works there anymore. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, I will get to the little consignment store in Amherstburg. It's just right next to Shoppers, so I always park at Shoppers because um, there's no parking on the street because it's right at the corner of a busy intersection. Uh, and that's like the main road in Amherstburg. So I park at Shoppers and I uh, I just take a little walk. But you know, I did go to Shoppers and look around and pass on those $13, and $13 pillows for you know, pasta hacks. I'm like, yeah, no, next. Um, so yeah, and uh, so I went in there and it's very hard to find um, PJs for the boys now because I find bigger sizes. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Um, bigger sizes are really hard to find in good condition, you know, because all times they are too worn or they get pilly. And I don't like it when material is pilly. It's like a pet peeve. I don't like it. So I did end up finding one pair of jammies, like I said before, the hockey pair. And it's uh, it's actually Kirkland. It came from Costco. So that's why, that's why it's still in good condition, because Costco has awesome quality clothing. I had bought in jammies there um, before, and actually, I looked yesterday, but they were all the the onesies, you know, with the zipper for um, little kids, babies and that, but not for big boys. So, yeah, that's why it's in good condition. Costco. <laughs> and then just the, you know, striped pants. So, you know, the majority of their pants and jammies I will probably get um, at the consignment store. In Windsor um, because they have more of a wider selection so everything I got was five bucks and I didn't have to pay for it because I had I still had credit with them I had um, I think it was about close to 35 34 something oh, excuse me I'm drinking Canada dry it's making me burp uh, yeah so I, it was nice not to pay for it and I got back $14 and I think 70 cents so, and it's got like, you know, the casual khaki pants to like that. It's nice when I can get like two pants that are similar. And then just a jogging pant style. All the other pants they had had zipper and buttons and those are a no. Yeah, <laughs> I know, because they don't know how and if you gotta go, you gotta go. You don't want to be messing with that stuff. So it was nice not to pay for that, and then I thought, well, while I'm, because I'm around the same area, let's go to the Society Shop in town, our little thrift store, and I never, never find a parking spot, like, right up next to the building. 
Never. Oh, you know, you get lucky. You get more lucky than I do. I, I don't. I usually I park in the park parking lot behind it um, if I have to, because I don't pay. I'll park with the van. It's too hard. Um, unless I feel like playing bumper cars, but <laughs> I don't think my insurance would like that. So <laughs> I avoid, you know, parallel parking. So there was a spot and um, I just had to like pull up a bit and back up, you know, so it was easy. So I went in there and they had a sale, 40% um, off if you bought, what? Oh, I think you bought four like millennials stuff, like either glassware or kitchen stuff, you know, stuff that doesn't have like a category or, um, you know, they just, I guess the stuff that doesn't belong, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, that isn't like clothing or shoes or, you know, so, so, and like I have a coupon cause I have a card every $10 you spend, you get a stamp and I think you have, um, when you fill it up, I think you get, is it 10? I had to check. I think it's 10% and it can be up to $25. Yes. Oh no, you get 20% off. Um, and the max value is $25. So I have a full card and it's good till October 17th. But like, I don't always find stuff. Um, I'm surprised I found as much stuff at ours because Usually ours doesn't have good stuff, but I find this is the first time in a long time I hit jackpot because usually the one hero I hit jackpot and hero. I find a lot of good stuff in the hero one. So, so yeah, so you get 20% off and I couldn't use it, you know, I'm like, oh, come on. Because they had, because I bought stuff that was part of the sale that was 40% off. So I couldn't use the 20% off. So I have till October 17th. So maybe, uh, I don't know, within a week or two, I'll go to the one here. So the first thing I found, it was $5, and I can never have too many Toronto Blue Jays t-shirts. Yeah, that's right, Toronto Blue Jays, woo! Oh yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> that's my team. Yeah, I, I have quite a few Toronto Blue Jays. You will see me wear them in almost, you know, every vlog. <laughs> <laughs> they're comfy oops <laughs> all right so I found that and oh where's the um the big the you know I don't want the penguin <laughs> the big, yeah penguin <laughs> okay and it had um cute um Christmas stuff okay I think Christmas stuff it's like it knows I'm coming in because everywhere I go, uh, I'm going to do a, um, what I bought yesterday at Value Village and they are still in a separate video or else this will be too long. Because this is a bit of like, this is like what I got at Walmart and, and this is what I got today. So um, I'm going to do that video separate because otherwise it's going to be way too long. Okay, so the first thing I found was was this little sign. It was $1.50. Isn't <laughs> that cute? I'm going to hang it up somewhere. I, we have... Uh, Places to hang stuff. Snowman fall from heaven. Some assembly required. I thought that was cute. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, let's put Frosty together. And then for, yeah, I'll get to that. Um, for four fifty, I've been looking for a cute cookie jar. I have a snowman one, but he's just, um, I think he's not really Christmassy. I wanted one that was a little bit more Christmassy. So I found a cute little penguin one ain't he adorable and he's in good condition i just have to clean clean him up you know and i think there's like one candy missing but that's fine you know he's cute i'm gonna be <clears throat> putting him out come end of november right my dad loves penguins so <laughs> yeah he would love this yeah he, oh, he, he, he loves penguins, you know, anything penguins he loves. And he has little candy, so I thought that was cute for $4.50. And then when I went to try on the Toronto Blue Jay t-shirt, right by the dressing room, there was, um, like, their linens. And I saw this, it was $6. It's a, it looks, let me put this guy away. I don't want to, you know, crash on the floor. <laughs> Okay, penguin is safe. 
And I found this tablecloth. It is like vintage. It looks vintagey. I love, love stuff like this. I love vintage. I love the style. I love the look. It is classic. It is a tablecloth. And I'm going to put it. I have my um, black, uh, black, black table here that I decorate for like um, Thanksgiving. I think I decorate for Christmas and the boys have two little two little Christmas trees that they decorate. So this is that that's this is where that's going. It is it's like um almost like burlap that kind of material. Yeah it's just oh it caught my eye and I got so excited and it is just gorgeous. It just reminds you of those times like when stuff was simple so I got that that was six dollars and then I got this pear dish it was three fifty so this would have been forty percent off so there's four things so it must have been this the tablecloth and the, maybe the t-shirt so I got the pear dish and I'm like you know what this is cute and different Made in Brazil. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to put my fruit in it. I don't, I don't have a, a fancy fruit bowl. And we never have a lot of fruit. So this is actually the perfect size. Yeah. Just have to give it a good scrub. Clean it up. And then because she said, oh, you can, you can pick one more thing. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I picked this up. It was four fifty, forty percent 40% off. And I'm going to use it for taco night. Because we do taco night a lot. It's like the boys' favorite meal. So I'm going to do like put the beef in two sections, put the cheese, probably the cheese in the middle, and then tomatoes, and then lettuce. And then put it at the table and be like, okay, make your own taco. <laughs> so that was it for that store. I did pretty good. I, I think the past two days, it's like, all right, I'm on a roll. You know, let's keep going. Let's keep this up. <laughs> Okay, so next, I went to Dollarama, and Dollarama is pretty much basically cleaning supplies because I need it, like, every cleaning supply that we have, almost, and a few extra. I'm going to grab the other bag. All right, Lois just had a sneeze attack. <laughs> like, she kept sneezing. That's something up her nose. All right, so I needed it, when I went, I needed, um, at Dollarama, the Recycle Blue Bags. When our box is overflowing with recycle, we put stuff in here. That was two dollars, so you can get ten. And I also like that they're white garbage bags, and it was a dollar twenty-five. I think it's dollar, yeah, right there, dollar twenty-five. So I got two of those, and I got the um. Sponge, you know, you have to wash dishes, put your soap in there. Ours, there's sponges coming <laughs> coming off. But I like them, they're handy, you know. Uh, especially for cleaning glasses that you can't get your hand in. And then I grabbed three Mr. Clean sponges. They are $1.25. And sponges too for washing dishes. Those were, I think, $1.25. And I got pine salt. That was I think three fifty. And I got for the floors the like uh, you know cheaper version of Swifter. And then I got the refills. Cause I'm getting tired of sweeping with the broom and like the dust bunnies, you know. I, like especially like, underneath the table and it's like I think that's just the user. And we'll just attach our broom handle to that. So that should work. And I found they found I found them, Courtney. <laughs> the drain, the sponges that you used for your drain. You know, I found them. You got three for a dollar twenty-five. Um, so I grabbed two. I was looking for them, and they have them like hidden. I was like, okay, come on, it has to be where the sponges are, you know. And I'm looking and looking, and it was. It was like kind of like tucked in the back. You know, and you really have to look for them. But yeah, I've been wanting to get these ever since you started using them for your drains because our drains are getting pretty dirty and they need to get a good cleaning, especially the kitchen. I mean, the bathroom one. So I found them. I was very happy. <laughs> yeah, you know, the drains get 
they get, yeah. You know, and they're like, ooh, what's, what's growing in the drain? <laughs> right? All right, and then, well, then that was it for cleaning stuff. And then everything else, I got, like, you know, your shopping list. I'm running low. And I got the two lights for my um, fall candle holders. And I got um, goo gone, because I have a, the Tupperware um, spice containers that I want to sell on eBay, but um, somebody had the labels on it, and the sticky, so this should take care of the stickiness. And I got a mint garlic, $1.25. I just buy it at Dollar Store because we don't use it a lot, so this is actually a lot for us. And enough, and we'll, we'll use, probably use all of it, but like we don't use it a, a whole lot, so that's perfect. I then hand sanitizer, $3. I think the, the Goo Gone, that was $4. Like four dollars, hmm. I know. Like, <laughs> I always walk out, walk out the dollar store a little bit broker <laughs> when I enter. Oh, good old dollar store. And I got, oh, I got a kitchen drain. Two, like two fifty. Yeah, needed that one. And then I picked up another garland, the uh, felt garland. And I picked up some felt leaves just to add to the table and then a fall tablecloth for my back table there that was four dollars and then of course that treats hey what's this oh that for you oh. <laughs> i got chicken beef turkey mm. you want one Get into it. Oh, I can't get into it. I'm not getting scissors. Casey, can you go grab my mother's scissors, please? Thank you. Walk and walk with them. Yeah, walk with them. Thank you, sweetie. Walk with them. Oh, thank you. I love you too. All right. Yeah, okay. It's good. Okay. Okay. Look, let me in there. Let me in there. Come here. Come on. So as you can tell, she doesn't like her treats. <laughs> Alright, so that was it for Dollar Rama and then I went to Walmart. Let me just go find the stuff. Put this away. I'll be right back. Alright, Walmart. Um I got a hamper. Uh it was $17.97. I will show it to you, but it, we kind of fill it up with clothes. But you all know what a hamper looks like. <laughs> Uh, needed, needed a new one because our old our one of them was starting to crack. So, yeah. no, actually, I think it was sixteen ninety seven. Even though the price tag on her knee said twelve ninety seven, but Mama. oh, it's just too too Mama. hot. Want to get home and care? I like, you like that? I like it too. All right. So the first thing I got, I've been wanting this for a long time, and I wanted it for fall, and it was eighteen ninety seven. I got the pumpkin wax warmer yes I just, I, I've been eyeing it for a while so I'm like I'm gonna get it so I'm gonna be decorating soon and to go with it I got maybe today yeah um maple apple glaze maple apple glaze yeah is it focusing oh Lois is smelling it <laughs> <laughs> you wanna smell it yeah Mama, there you go. Can you smell it? Mama. <coughs> <coughs> Is it strong? Mama. I can't want it. Smell it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, wait, wait, wait. I can't want it. Mama. Pumpkin spice. Yum. This was the last one, so I was looking for it. I'm like, Mama, where is it? Where is it? it? Yeah, she is smelling it. I smell good. <sighs> smell good. Pumpkin. Can I so, pumpkin spice and maple glaze. I want to get the cherry one. That one smelled really good too. <coughs> yeah. Um, it smells like strawberry. Oh, like strawberry? Yeah. yeah. It smells like it. Yeah. And uh, at $4.97, I picked up more pumpkin spice cookies. Because the other pack, there's probably like three left. Can I open it? Okay, yep, in a minute. Hang on. Okay. 
Henry has and I Henry Henry has um, eczema and the only body wash in body lotion that absolutely <laughs> has no perfume. You know, open that one. Okay, is a vino. So I got him the vino. Lewis, <laughs> the vino body wash. And it is fragrance free. Same with the lotion. This was on sale for $6.97. Um, it is fragrance free. And the body wash was, I think, $9.97. I have a hard time finding fragrance free products. I was looking at their hand soap and getting so, so upset because every bottle, like I, I read the ingredients, every bottle, perfume, perfume. I'm like, even the ones that say they're hypoallergenic, allergenic, still have perfume in it. And it's like, no, you are not hypoallergenic if you have perfume in your product. To me, that is not hypoallergenic, allergenic, because the perfume will bother his skin. He gets itchy, you know, and it's so annoying trying to find fragrance free. So I'm so happy. I love a vino. I, I really wish that they came out with a hand soap. So I, I try, I just, I get the cheap one, Nequate, um, or soft soap that seems to have like less you know you know it's not going to be smelly smelly and doesn't really irritate his hands but i would rather have 100 percent no perfume fragrance free hand soap um i do order it online but you know it's you, you order online it's like small you know and expensive it's um i haven't ordered it for a while but Usually, I, I, if I do, it's on sale, you know, so Avino needs to get hand soap. <laughs> They're the only ones that are fragrance-free, and it has to say fragrance-free. No perfume. And I read the back of the ingredients, and yep, no perfume. Yep, so that was it for Walmart, just a little mini haul. Okay, I am going to have some lunch, and I'll be back. And this is gonna be one long vlog. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'll be back. Okay. I'm gonna do this video separate because it is longer than I thought it would be. It's over just over 20 minutes. So it's gonna be separate from the vlog. So make sure you check out the vlog. I'll put this one up probably after we come home from church. Um. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Like. Comment. You know what to do. And I'll see you in the next haul video. Okay. Bye. Take care for now. Take care. Bye.